Hey guys, it's your Tech Kuya Jaman Cheta and in this video, gusto ko lang pag-usapan yung mga topics natin na, na ano natin for the past week yung mga napag-usapan natin si Jamon9.ph So marami tayong mga pinag-usapan like the Vivo V19, the DualSense controller ni uh, Sony and of course there's the uh, new Samsung smartphones with 5G So dun muna tayo sa pinakabagong smartphone ni Vivo So first dito tayo sa Vivo V19 So the Vivo V19 is actually in mid-range smartphone. Hindi pa natin alam kung kailan ito darating dito sa Pilipinas. But according to sa specifications, we're getting here a 6.44 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. May Snapdragon 712 processor tayo dito. Ang exciting dito is we got a quad camera lens and of course, uh, the dual selfie camera. So with this smartphone, ang pinofocus nila dito is the dual selfie camera and of course, there's the 33 watts Vivo Flash Charge 2.0. We don't know yet the price of the smartphone but the fact that we're getting a 32 plus 8 megapixel selfie camera and knowing Vivo, laging maganda yung kanila mga selfie cameras and uh, pinofocus sila dito is yung parang super selfie sa night so I'm curious kung paano siya mag fare sa gabi, I mean pag nagsishoot ako ng selfies, pag nasa labas ng gabi, uh, you know mga group shots, so I think this one is really helpful and that 32 plus 8 megapixel selfie camera is actually one of it is a wide angle lens para sa mga group shots and of course, yung self, yung rear camera niya is something na dapat natin din tignan. I mean, with the Vivo V17 Pro na review natin before, I'm pretty happy with the camera that we got on that smartphone. And with the Vivo V19, sana hindi pa rin disappointing yung makukuha natin dito. And of course, this is the V19, so we can expect the V19 Pro. And makikita niya naman sa photo, the camera of uh, the Vivo V19 sa likod this very much similar dun sa mga smartphones na nakita natin before. Like, um, for example, this one, the Huawei uh, B40, and of course, we got here uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Makikita nyo, para siya may rectangular module sa likod. So, medyo may uh, parang protruding camera yung dating niya sa unahan. And uh, sa unahan is actually very similar to, I can find oh, this one actually, the Huawei P40. Ayan, so meron tayong parang punch hole camera doon sa unahan, parang doon sa kanyang dual selfie camera. And of course, hindi naman, mahirap naman natin masabi yung parang verdict natin about the smartphone. smartphone But the fact na may mga ganito siyang feature, parang okay, ito yung mga mapipredict natin. So, uh, okay, anyway, there, there's the Snapdragon 712 processor. I'm really curious about that one. I mean, how it will perform. But it's very similar. It's actually the same processor that was used on the Realme 5 Pro, I believe. Uh, if tama yung pagkakaalala ko. But yeah, the 712 processor is um, a fine processor, yes. It's a quite able processor. But if you're comparing it for a 2020 smartphone, I'm not sure kung paano siya mag with other smartphones na uh, mga lalabas soon na nasa price range ni Vivo V19. Our next topic is the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. If you're curious about that, I mean, the both smartphones are already available here in the Philippines. I believe the A51 is only available through postpaid plan, pero si A71 available na siya sa market. Actually, we review natin si Samsung Galaxy A71 and I really like the camera that we got on the Samsung Galaxy A71. It's a 64 megapixel rear camera. It performed really well and gusto ko yung uh, camera siya sa mga kuha ko nung sa San Francisco ko for the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S20. Anyway, going back, the A51 and A71 5G are both um, similar in the smartphones but this time we got 5G in here. I believe these are one of the first na mid-range smartphones the Samsung that comes with 5G. Hindi included si A90 kasi si A90 parang flagship na siya since it's running on um, Snapdragon 855 processor but with the A51 5G and the A71 5G, uh, although the processor was not uh, mentioned and hindi naging malinaw yung processor nila pero minention na it's a dual 2.2 gigahertz plus hexa 1.8 gigahertz octa core processor uh, based dun sa sinabi nila I'm not sure if that will be the Snapdragon 765G or the 765 5G processor but iba yung um, clock speed nung nandun sa sa 765. Baka, I'm not sure if it's, if it's a Snapdragon or an Exynos processor. But I'm curious kung anong uh, kakalabasan ito. But the rest of the specifications is very similar to the previous um, generation. Actually, it's not. It's on the same generation but naging 5G siya. So, we still got here the, for the A51 5G uh, 128 megapixel camera 48 megapixel main uh, 128 gigs of internal storage 48 megapixel main camera the 32 megapixel selfie camera for the A51 
5G. Pero yung battery niya is bigger according to sa kanilang specification sheet. It's 4,500 mAh. Maybe because of the 5G. So, kailangan nilang i-ramp up yung battery ng A51 5G. For the A71, we still got here yung malaki niyang display. It's a 6.7 inch display, 128 gigs of storage, 64 megapixel main camera, 32 megapixel selfie camera. But yung pinakamalaking difference nitong dalawang to, aesthetically, is dun sa likod. So, sa back cover na ng um, A71 and A51. So, sa likod niya is meron tayong parang geometric or uh, pattern sa parang triangular pattern sa likod ng smartphones with some reflections but this time, it's actually parang isang mga vertical lines lang na madami and then parang may half na parang may reflection na mga rainbow colors. I actually like this one. I mean, yung kanya uh, gantong colors. Although, it's not as premium as the Samsung Galaxy S20 with uh, premium talaga yung glass yan. Premium talaga pag ginawa ko siya. I'm still fine with the A71 5G and the A51 5G na may gantong aesthetics. Lastly, gusto kong pag-usapan yung Sony DualSense controller. So, this is the controller na magiging available sa PlayStation 5. So, the PlayStation 5 is expected to arrive here uh, globally. Actually, it's not here. Pero globally, uh, this holiday 2020, sana hindi madelay because of the coronavirus and uh, pandemic that is going on globally. But yeah, this is the DualSense controller of the PlayStation 5. It's DualSense it's not dual shock, it's dual sense. There's a reason it's called sense because they are focusing on a lot of things dito sa dual sense controller. First, makikita nyo, there's a two-tone design dito sa dual sense controller ng PlayStation 5. Uh, actually, one of the biggest talaga na changes dito is the design. Um, yung design kasi ng controller ng PlayStation since the PlayStation 1, almost the same. I mean, makikita mo yung parang design DNA niya pag tinitignan mo yung controller ng PS1, PS2 going to sa, P sa PS4 although sa PS4 may touchpad, makikita mo rin okay, unmistakable to, it's a PlayStation controller, madali siyang distinguish but this time, we're getting here a two-tone design and medyo iba na yung grip niya, it's actually parang mataba dun sa sides, parang mas masarap siya sa akin, ergonomic, this one is actually the Xbox controller, parang may paganto na siya, hindi siya straight na parang bilog dito, uh, like the PlayStation I actually like the ergonomics of an Xbox Box controller. So, I prefer actually yung ganito design ni uh, PS5. And of course, meron pa rin silang uh, yung mga triangle, circle, square, and X. But this time, we got here a two-tone design. So, yung ilaw dun sa unahan niya, sa ganito part niya is actually nandito na sa side, sa, sa unahan. It's actually neat yung look niya. Uh, makikita dito sa well, uh, this is an iPad ko na tinitignan right now. And of course, the share button has been replaced with the create button. So, it's not just share. Mas marami ka na pwede gawin with the create button. Um, Sony will detail yung create button soon once na ilabas na nila yung mga details about the PlayStation 5 and also the create button. But, um, other things na dapat tayo ma-excited dito is first, meron tayong built-in mic dito sa controller. This is not the controller. The, may built-in mic sa PlayStation 5 uh, dito. So, you don't need the headset para lang, uh, you know, you could use, you could talk uh, voice chat sa mga multiplayer when using the PlayStation 5. And of course, tinawag siyang DualSense because of what you can feel when holding the controller. So, with the PlayStation 5's DualSense controller, meron tayo better, um, haptic feedback. So, ang description ni Sony is that when you're in the mud, sabihin natin tumatakbo kayo sa mud or nagdadrive kayo sa mud, mararamdaman niyo sa controller niyo yung difference from driving dun sa normal na road and to driving dun sa mud. So, mararamdaman niya na parang okay, nandun tayo sa mud, hindi tama to. So, move natin ng konti. It's a really cool feature. I'm not sure. I think Xbox doesn't have that feature but with the PlayStation 5, they're focusing on the immersion for the gamers. And of course, meron tayong better attack adaptive triggers dito sa L2 and R2 ng controller ng DualSense ng PS5. So, with that one, I believe, again, I get, again, yung base, best use case niya is when you're driving, eh, siguro mararamdaman mo yung may parang um, resistance when you're um, pressing the R2 and L2 ng PS5. But of course, uh, sinasabi ko lang to, pero mas maganda pa rin pag natry na natin itong controller na DualSense pag meron na tayong PlayStation 5 and hopefully, dumating sila dito this holiday 2020. So I guess that's it for our weekly recap dito sa Jam Online YouTube channel. So, bago tayo mag-end, guys, be sure to click that subscribe button and also that bell button to get notified of the latest videos here at Jam Online YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jam of Jamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again sa susunod na video.